Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video. Today, I'm going to show you a, a very cool rig. It's a very stealthy rig. And normally, with this type of rig, you need a three-way swivel that looks like this or something that looks like this. All right, so... These rigs are great, okay? I have nothing against the three-way swivels. Okay, so it's either you use something like this or you use something like this, okay? Now, the problem there is that there are some areas that have a lot of pressure and the fish don't like seeing hardware, okay? So this is a knot that would be able to help you uh, catch more fish in areas where there's a lot of fishing pressure. So just kind of keep this in mind and uh, put it in your bag of tricks so when you need it it's there all right so for the purposes of this demonstration we're gonna be using zippy okay suffix zippy once again thanks so much to our friends over at suffix for uh, supporting us with some great products so if you don't know there's suffix zippy and superior there's another one which is fluorocarbon but we're, we're gonna be sticking to these two for now Okay, so suffix superior is a bit more stiff than zippy. Okay, I like both and there are some situations where you want a bit more movement. So you use the softer zippy and there are some situations where you want something stiff. All right, so what's going to happen is we're going to cut a section of about half a meter or so of superior. And this is going to be our sinker line. And our main would be suffix zippy. Okay, it's a bit softer. I'm gonna be cutting about a meter and a half. All right, so this will be going to my, my uh, main line or my leader, main leader, shock leader or my uh, braid all right and I'll get about a meter uh, or half a meter from the bottom all right now I usually tie these a bit long because I can always cut them back later on all right so all I do is insert the mono all right and there's a couple of ways of doing this, but what I what I like doing is I insert from the bottom, all right, and then take this, okay, wrap it around my finger, okay, and what essentially we're going to do is just wrap this around that loop, okay. And there's a few knots that you could use to to uh, make this. This is one of the easiest. All right, now it kind of becomes more difficult going towards the end. So all you have to do then is just push the uh, the strand or the loops behind. You can make this as many times as you want. All right, so now remember we pushed down, now we push up, all right? And then we pull this part here. Okay, make sure that it's at the back. We pull that part so that all the loops form at the back. Okay, make sure that they're evenly spaced out and none are actually going over each other. Now, there are some loops that are going over, okay? What you need to do is just spread them apart and uh, what they'll do is actually just fall into their place right there like that, all right? And then you can lubricate. At this point, this is where you lubricate, okay? now. Also check, okay, so 
Also check that these two are going in the opposite sides here. So this one's going up. This is okay. That's good. All right. Now just pull. Okay. Like so. Okay. Don't tighten up yet. Okay. Now what you do is pull this. Tag end. Okay. Like that. Then just tighten. Okay. Uh, tighten the tag end as well. There we go. So you'll find that it's actually quite clean. Now, can cut this quite long like that. And then what we do is get a uh, lighter and finish that up. All right. So we're going to burn this tip up. Like so. And what that does is actually just keep things tidy and there's gonna be a ball there instead of something that sticks out real bad. All right, so that's your sinker line. Now, what you do then is take both ends, okay? Cross them, all right? Cross them, okay? And then take that, just that loop, form it around, go around like five times, okay? Make an eye right there, okay? And then twist it around. So you'll end up with something that looks like that. Now, all you have to do is just put this inside Like that okay pull your line through and it'll look like that okay now what, what we're gonna do is uh, put a bit of lubricant uh, saliva water okay like that so that the nylon doesn't burn itself and then all you have to do then is just take your line and pull okay pull tight and as you can see there, it forms a perfect T. Okay, so you have your thin sinker line. You could also, I mean, if you're bottom fishing, you could use this as uh, one of your branching rigs or uh, branching lines. All right, and you have your main line here. And then all you have to do then is uh, attach a sinker, okay, or attach your line. And there you have it. All right, so very, very strong, clean knot that'll help you in highly pressured areas. All right, so that is your T-knot. I hope you find this video useful. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.